Hey, good morning, friends. It's uh, Tuesday, November 15. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, hope the weekend went well for you and that you're staying <laughs> staying warm. Get your, hopefully you got your heater and your furnace all kicked up and keeping you warm. Um, today we're looking at Psalm 113, and we have entered into a set of psalms that are praise psalms that are specifically about giving praise to God, giving glory to God, uh, ascribing glory. Um, you know, they, they, they say you'll wor everybody worships something. You're going to worship something. Are you going to worship God? Or are you going to worship something else? Uh, even Bob Dylan sang about that. Uh, it may be the devil or it may be the Lord, but you're going to worship some. I guess he said you're going to have to serve someone. So slightly different. Um, but but the same, you know, somewhat same idea that, uh, you know, some, some people worship their jobs. Some people worship their spouses. Some people worship their... Um, uh, their family name, uh, all sorts of things that we have uh, available to us to, 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 to give our praise to, but we want to be people who praise God because God is the only one capable of handling our praises and the only one worthy uh, of receiving our praise. And so that's what these Psalms do. Uh, let's take a moment to settle our hearts and then I'll read Psalm 113 for us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, you his servants. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be praised both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to the place where it sets, the name of the Lord is to be praised. The Lord is exalted over all the nations, his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God, the one who sits enthroned on high? who stoops down to look on the heavens and the earth. He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap. He sets them with princes, with the princes of his people. He settles the childless woman in her home as a happy mother of children. Praise the Lord. Um, so this psalm begins and ends with the phrase, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And this is um, one word in the Hebrew language. It's actually a word that you know. Um, Hallel is the word for uh, praise. To praise, to give praise to something is to Hallel. And Yah is a shortened form of the, um, of the name of God, Yahweh. And so we put those together, we get Hallel Yah, or Hallelujah. Hallelujah is literally the phrase, praise the Lord. And so this psalm begins and ends with the Hallelujah, with the praise the Lord, the call to praise. Um, the, not just praise any God, not just praise anything, but to praise Yahweh. That is the God to whom we are going to ascribe our praise. And so the psalm is is a praise psalm, but it's very specific in its praise. It's very specific in the one that it calls for us to give our glory to. And it's a, it's a call for us to do the same. As we live out our day to today, are we going to live uh, our praises to God or to other things? And that's the choice we have today. So let's be people who, who lift up the name of God in all that we do. And we can start that by uh, going to God in prayer. We have our daily office prayer of thanksgiving and intercession. And so I invite you to join me. Let's go to God. We praise you, God our Creator, for your handiwork in shaping and sustaining your wondrous creation. Especially we thank you for the miracle of life and the wonder of living. We thank you for particular blessings coming to us in this day. We thank you, Lord, for the resources of the earth and for gifts of creative vision and skillful craft. We praise you for the treasure stored in every human life. I invite you to lift up your own prayers of thanksgiving.
Now, Lord, we dare to pray for others, God our Savior, claiming your love in Jesus Christ for the whole world and committing ourselves to care for those around us in his name. Especially today, Lord, we pray for uh, those who work for the benefit of others. We pray for those who cannot work today. We pray for those who teach and those who learn. We pray for those who are poor. We pray for the church in Europe. I invite you to lift up your own prayers of intercession for this day. As you cause the sun to rise, O oh God, bring the light of Christ to dawn in our souls and dispel all darkness. Give us grace to reflect Christ's glory and let his love show in our deeds, his peace shine in our words, and his healing in our touch, that all may give him praise now and forever. Amen. Friends, I invite you to hear our dismissal for the day. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace through the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord's Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Uh, good to be with you. Hope your week gets off is getting off to a good start. Uh, God bless you today, friends. We'll see you soon. Take care.